I want to demonstrate how to program 2006, 2007, or maybe a few more uh, Honda Ridgeline remote uh, buttons. Okay, because it has to be programmed, what they call it, onboard programming. Sorry, I did not actually uh, uh, video when they're actually doing it, but basically it's fairly simple. Now, with this particular model, um, basically you have to, uh, before entering um, remote programming mode, you have to cycle, uh, I'll show you the step uh, four times instead of four times, okay, and, until you hear the, uh, the lock and lock cycle. Anyway, uh, to be exact, basically, uh, just for demonstration, let's say this is the, your original key or program key, um, meaning that it can start the car. Similarly, if you have another program key, you have to program this one as well in terms of, you know, you cut the key and then you program the key to start. So they both have to, to start the car, okay? That's the first step, you have to program the key is so they start the car. Now, let's say this is original. So what you do to program the remote, first step, you will just know the thing, this is the, the lock button, okay? You're gonna be pressing this, but you put the key into ignition in the off position, and then you're gonna turn it on. A position which is the, the two two lines, which is, which is on, but not all the way to crank in the engine, okay? All right, let's start over. You put the key in, you turn it on, to on position and then you're gonna press the lock key for like one second okay and then you're gonna turn to the off position turn it back on again within five seconds press the lock button again gonna turn it off again gonna turn it on again you're gonna press the lock button for like one second gonna turn it off again gonna turn it on now once you press this you will hear the door cycle meaning that it entering remote programming mode. So on this key, you're gonna press the lock again for one second, and you should hear the lock and unlock. And then on the additional key, you can go ahead and press the lock again. Okay, let's so say you press it for like one second, you should hear the lock cycle again, meaning that this remote has been programmed. You have another key, you go ahead and do the same thing. Just hold on to that, very simple. And then you should hear the, the lock cycle again and you uh, get the key out of your car and then test all of your remote and that should be it. So uh, essentially for this particular car, instead of you do this, press the button, you do this, press the button, to entering the uh, programming mode, you have to do this uh, four cycles, if that makes sense. On other models, I believe you only do this uh, two times one, press, one, press, and then the door will recycle and then you just press the lock again, blah, blah, blah. Uh, if I can remember, but uh, you know, I was a little confused at the beginning because based on instruction, you only do this two times before entering the programming mode. Anyway, I think in short, if you have any questions, let me know. Sorry, I cannot do the actual programming for you, but uh, also somebody mentioned or, or some web, uh, if you have a, on, on your key, if you do have a trunk opening, you have to hold, to test it, you have to hold the trunk opening for like 10 seconds, um, and then the trunk should open as well, okay? So hope it helps, and we'll see you folks on the next video. I will put the instructions down below. See you folks on the next video. Bye for now.